righty then. We are going to do this reels this time. Um, I can tell you, we have uh, up the excitement. This wasn't intentional, but you know what the hey, uh, might as well do something live and you know draw it out as long as, we can, which is really not not the intention. But I do have to tell you that Keisha Howard, fantastic MC, totally doing this flying blind. We have found out that she can't see any of our screens. She's such a pro, and she knows the material inside and out, and she is such a fan of all the games that are happening that are nominated that she wants to go through with this. So I want you to give a big virtual round of applause for our fantastic MC, Keisha Howard. Thanks so much, Susanna. I am so excited to be here, especially with everything going on in 2020. This has been an amazing opportunity. Um, but let, first, let's talk about the G4C Awards. This year, we received over 200 submissions, like Susanna said. And this has been one of our most competitive years yet for the competition. Um, over three months, and with the help of 70 experts in games, we have 22 outstanding finalists that we'll be celebrating tonight. You can learn more about each finalist in the Festival Expo. Each booth has info about the games and how to play them from your own home. In addition to honoring our impact games, we will also be giving out awards that recognize people and companies who make a difference. This includes the inaugural Giving Award, which recognizes organizations who donate their time and resources to support their communities. So, all right, let's get, the, let's get started. Uh, this is going to be an awesome night, so let's just jump right in. So, our first award is going to be the most innovative. The most innovative award recognizes um, games that are creative and experimental. These games break conventions and pave the way for new ideas and designs. And here are the nominees for the most innovative. And the winner for the most innovative is Dreams, created by Media Molecule. And here to accept the award on behalf of uh, Media Molecule is Kareem Atune. Hello, I'm Kareem Atune, art director and co-founder of Media Molecule. And I'd like to thank you on behalf of our team in Media Molecule and Sony for this great honor to get the most innovative game at the game for change conference is a big deal dream has been a labor of love and a huge mission for us to celebrate the individuality of every body every person we felt deserves to have their voice celebrated in any form in any medium and in any media and we are very excited about carrying on on that mission thank you so much for this beautiful award that was awesome and our next award is best gameplay the best gameplay award recognizes games that have compelling polished and engaging gameplay these games have mechanics that align with their meaningful social impact goals. So here are our nominees for best gameplay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay.
And the award for best gameplay goes to Sky, Children of the Light, developed by that game company. So please welcome John Hughes, who will accept this award on behalf of that game company. Hi, I'm John Hughes from that game company. It's an honor to be accepting the Games for Change Best Gameplay Award. On behalf of everyone behind Sky, I'd like to thank the judges, our friends and family, and our amazing community who've helped us shape Sky into the welcoming and positive place that it's become. We really hope that in these difficult times, Sky has helped their players stay connected and to form new lasting friendships across all walks of life. From everyone at that game company, thank you for your support. Hi, I'm John Hughes from that game company. And the next award is Most Significant Impact. The Most Significant Impact category recognizes games that target specific social issues and achieve impact through actions and outcomes. Impact is a broad definition here, so it can be measured through formal assessments, evaluations, or even player feedback. So here are our nominees for Most Significant Impact. just suddenly came over me the way, you know, the way things are going in this world. These people around me think they can tell me how to act, what I'm supposed to do, and I'm like, yo, don't you know you have your own shit to deal with? Why, why do you have to pick on me all the time? And the award for most significant impact goes to Sea of Solitude, developed by Joe May. So please welcome Cornelia um, Gip Gippert, who will accept the award on behalf of Joe May. Hello, everyone. This is Connie, Cornelia Gippert from your My Games, and we just won the award. <laughs> um, thank you so much, everyone. Um, I also wanted to thank uh, my team, my tiny indie team here in Berlin, because without them, Sea of Solitude wouldn't have been possible. Everyone was so highly energetic. Everyone contributed to the story. And because of them, Sea of Solitude became yeah, what it is today. I also wanted to thank Electronic Arts um, because they trusted us with such a strange, weird, artistic project and helped us uh, yeah, to yeah, bring Sea of Solitude out there to you guys. So um, thank you, everyone, and bye-bye. Um, now, before we get to our next awards, I want to talk a little bit about the judging process. Um, excuse me for one moment. So, <laughs> sorry, 2020, right? Um, like I mentioned before, there are over 70 jurors uh, when it comes to the Games for Change Awards this year. These people are developers, educators, partners, and players with a passion for games. Just like myself, I love games too. And starting in March, they vigorously reviewed the games in three rounds, with each round getting more specific as the award uh, to the award categories. At the end of the process, a panel of the final jurors reviewed the games and determined the winners. So, um, Please welcome uh, Anthony Kozak and Michael Newton, who will accept, uh, I am so sorry. I, uh, okay, who will accept uh, the behalf on, uh, well, I'm sorry, guys. Who will accept this award on behalf of the jurors, I'm sorry.
Thanks for being with me, guys. And now we're going to talk about the Best Learning Game Award, which recognizes games that are educational but also fun. Games in this category balance fun and learning with engaging gameplay. And here are the nominees for Best Gaming Award. This is Mightier. It helps kids learn to calm their emotions through games they love. I'm so jealous of all the kids that get to play these games. I wish I got to when I was little. So the award for the best learning game goes to Rabbit's Coding, uh, developed by Ubisoft. So please welcome Anthony Kozak and Michael Newton, who will both accept the award on behalf of Ubisoft. Hi, this is Anthony, the creator of Rabbit's Coding. I wanted to say that we are really amazed to win the best educational game award. This is a really good surprise and this is really encouraging for the next step we have in mind for that title. I also wanted to thank all the people who made this project possible across all the Ubisoft network and give a special thanks to Oriane Capella, uh, Olivier Ernst, Olivier Palmeri, Michael Newton, Cédric Royer, who really worked and supported the project from the beginning. We hope that uh, you enjoyed playing to Rabbit's Coding as much as we enjoyed uh, making it. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Newton. I am CSR manager and uh, basically I am in charge of uh, rabbit coding deployment in libraries, schools, clubs all over the world. And merci beaucoup to all people involved that have made uh, online courses for this game, uh, especially during the lockdown period. Uh, also, I want to thank Orian, my manager, for giving me the opportunity to work on this project. Uh, I want to thank uh, Noemi, who works with me. Uh, so spread the love of programming to the younger generation. Uh, this will be a good sign for us uh, to give a brilliant future to this game. A bientôt. And now it's time for the best student game. This category awards impact games created by college and university students. Game design programs around the world are preparing the next generation of game developers. And we made this category last year to And the award for best student game goes to Resilience, developed by Sun Grazer Studio at Drexel University. Hello everyone, my name is Lily Laubin, the producer of Resilience, and it is such an honor to accept this award. I am proud to represent my team from Drexel University. 
Thanks to your ambitious and passionate work, resilience has come so far. You are truly the best team that a producer could ask for. We want to thank our Drexel community for their support, especially our amazing advisors, Tony Rowe, Amelia Hoover Green, Jeff Salvage, and Rob Lloyd. Also, we're so grateful to Jay Berger from Doctors Without Borders, who guided us throughout the project. And of course, to all our friends and family. Finally, we want to thank Games for Change for creating a space to elevate projects like ours and our incredible competitors. Resilience is one small step towards driving compassion for refugees who are especially vulnerable in this global pandemic. We are grateful for this strong community and your help amplifying our core message that refugees need our help. Thank you. And now we're going to talk about the award for best XR for change experience, which recognizes the best augmented virtual or mixed reality experience created for social impact. We emphasize experience because this award includes 360 films and experimental immersive product projects. And it's something that I'm super passionate about as I've been experimenting and having adventures in this space for the past several years. And I'm so excited to see where we're, we are going to go with this. So, um, I'm really excited to get this award. Here are the nominees for Best XR, XR for Change Experience. These compact nourishment cylinders are loaded with nutrition. Why isn't it attacking? It's attacking. You need to take this mission more seriously. Now what? Thank goodness you're here. We don't have much time. As you know, the year is 2030 and the world is facing many complex crises which the global network of Red Cross and Red Crescent is struggling to cope with. for best XR for change experience goes to the Holy City, developed by Nimrod Shanit and Holy City VR. The Holy City is actually available to demo on Oculus TV as part of this year's XR for Change Immersive Arcade. So this is a good one to try out if you have a headset. So now let's welcome Nimrod Shanit, who will accept the award on behalf of Holy City VR. Thank you, Games for Change, for this wonderful award and for supporting the Holy City a project that calls for unity and understanding by utilizing the power of XR to encourage visitors from all walks of life to see past prejudices, stereotypes, discrimination and bigotry. This project was produced by a group of Jewish, Muslims and Christian creators and proved that through working together we can make the world a better place. May this award be a beacon to encourage more XR productions promoting humanistic and artistic. So, each year, Games for Change honors one person who stands out as a remarkable champion and advocate for Impact Games. The Vanguard Award acknowledges the significant contributions of this person that they've made out throughout their career and the impact they have as a mentor to new generation of game creators. Uh, please. Join me in giving a warm welcome to the Vice President of Communications and Public Affairs at Take Two and Games for Change Board member Alan Lewis, who will be introducing. To honor someone that truly embodies the qualities and achievements to be called the Vanguard. By its very definition, a vanguard represents a person or a group that's on the forefront of an action leading to a movement to pursue the development of new ideas. Gordon Bellamy is all of these things and so much more, and his career and selfless contributions to our industry are a paragon for how we can each harness the power of our passion, our creativity, and our individuality to both live a full and rewarding life and most importantly, to enrich the lives of others. More than 25 years ago, after graduating from Harvard, Gordon began his career in the interactive entertainment industry at EA 
that's a designer for the popular Madden football series. He later went on to have business and product leadership roles at MTV and Tencent, where he continued to expand the breadth and depth of his acumen that would set him on a consistent path for well-earned success. As Gordon's career progressed, he began to lend his support to organizations such as the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences that recognizes and celebrates the artistic achievements of our industry, as well as the International Game Developers Association that supports and nurtures the global creative community. In addition, for the past five years, Gordon has been a visiting scholar at USC Games, where he has played an integral role in both shaping curriculum and cultivating the next generation of game creators. Beyond honing their creative skills, Gordon instills the knowledge and belief into his students that they can go on to make their own games, open their own studios, and use this art form to bring about social change and challenge the norms that we have in our society. It is no surprise that his students and colleagues alike seek him out and gravitate toward his infectious, seemingly boundless energy, enthusiasm, and passion. Gordon has also not surprisingly invested himself deeply and personally into his work for the betterment of our industry. As a black gay man, Gordon has long championed for increased diversity and inclusiveness within our industry, especially for those in underserved communities. He has been on the forefront of leading important dialogues and activities that have raised awareness and compassion for the LGBTQ plus community all the while helping to make our industry stronger in every way. To that end, Gordon founded the Gay Gaming Professionals, an important organization that is dedicated to the advancement of this community, which also provides numerous ways for our entire industry to lend its support and to help achieve its mission. Gordon represents the very best of us. His contributions are equally plentiful and impactful, and we are a far better industry today and will be even more so tomorrow because of his exceptional work and profound humanitarianism. Professional, activist, vanguard, and my friend, please join me in honoring Gordon Bellamy with the 2020 Games for Change Vanguard Award. Wow. Hi. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, thank you so much. Wow. Am I live right now? I don't know. Do I get a cue? I guess I'm on. Um, so you can hear us. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you so much, Alan, for your words. Um, I feel as though um, you're only as good as the people with whom you share your time. And it's an incredible privilege to be sharing this evening and this incredible first day of Games for Change with all of you. I've, I've been in the panels all day learning um, with, with all of us together um, so much about uh, how we all are devoting our lives to moving things forward. Um, I have a lot of thanks to give. I'm going to go fast. But first, I'm going to stop and shout out Keisha Howard. Keisha, I see you, OK? And with your power and your intelligence and brilliance right now in this moment, stepping into this moment, right? Ignoring adversity and giving us an outstanding experience right now. I could not be prouder to be sharing this like lifetime, you know, achievement, this vanguard moment with you. I want to shout out the team from Games for Change. I'm going to just go ahead and read all the names because this is my time. Susanna Pollock, Arana Shapiro, Diana Moreau, Kevin Dugan, Tanya Hack, Marissa Hartz, Raul Carvajal, Stephanie Lotto, Noel Mazurek, and of course the incredible tech team that has brought us together for the first time in this new way to jump from room to room to Q&A to awards tirelessly, never stopping all day today and for the next two days. I want to of course thank um, the board of the Games for Change and the, and the advisors who have given me this award. Thank you for just recognizing my work um, and contributions. Ah, uh, okay, life moment. My husband, Joe Healy, you can't see him, but he's here from this ship, everything that I'm doing, like, bah, 23 years and counting. Uh, Joe Healy has been not just by my side, but lifting me up, pushing me forward, dusting me off. Uh, I just love you so much. And thank you. Uh, 
for all of this. Uh, academics, USC, uh, Tracy Fullerton, uh, previous winner of this award, an outstanding speaker today and forever. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you for just being open to the idea that I could be additive to the academic community. Um, thank you, Danny Bilson, for keeping that going right now at USC Games. Thank you, Jim Huntley with eSports. Thank you, Sam Roberts every day. Thank you, Colin Kelly with the students. Thank all the rest of the faculty and shout out adjunct faculty out there who are putting in the work to raise the bar for everyone. And of course, Dean Daly over all of us. And, oh my gosh, the best essays in the business. Sully Zach, Kwiana Dang, my past essays, Ken, Lobu, Lex, without you, there would be no classes, there would be no learning, there would be no anything. Um, of course, the greater academic family, I assume everyone's familiar with Hevga here, but if you're not, okay, take a moment, I'm all about calls to action. Higher Education Video Game Alliance, okay? I think they're giving a talk here. Everybody in here should be a part of it as we are all together moving academia forward. Um, I want to thank um, Wiggy, like the Women in Games International, because they invited me to events before there was a GGP, before there was any of this. They made me feel welcome and enough as I was. Um, I want to thank all the oh, black in gaming and all the black people doing the work every day, living, surviving, thriving in these spaces. Uh, I want to thank all the diversity and equity professionals inside these organizations and executive champions who are doing the work every day talking about equity when it's not cute. Um, I want to thank, especially you, Alan. I see you. I'm looking at Alan on screen now. Alan, you have been a champion with me this whole time. Looks like ride or die. And it's just to share this moment, thank you. Uh, Leo, I saw you earlier today doing a keynote. Thank you. All the other executive champions that have been supporting us. Thank you. Uh, GGP team, real quick. Ah, little GGP history. Brian Rubin Sowers, wherever you are. Thank you. He founded GGP. Real talk, Brian Rubin. You might know him. He does PR for GDC. He started all this. We've carried it forward, but he started all this off, and we need to acknowledge our history. Um, Mason, Abby, Bailey, Rob, Eric, Brandon, Lance, Alistair, Natty, Sully again, Scott, all the GGP team that is tireless, uh, WaveXR, ah, ESA Foundation, Anastasia, I see you. Annie, I see you. Your partnership, lifting up so many people for our future. Um, let's see, all the media companies have been supporting us in our efforts across the board, all the companies that are supporting us, all the individuals, um, and, oh, the people documenting our history, real talk, Dr. Adrian Shaw of Temple, okay, the Museum of Play in Rochester, uh, Robin Gregg of Gaming Magazine, Dean Takahashi, see you, Dean, making an effort to put us front and center, giving us equity of message, giving us voice, right, to all the hard work that people are doing. And I guess most importantly, this community, okay, all y'all, right, 640 strong. Like, we're having that moment. Have you ever seen the Warriors? Right, we're having that moment, right? If you can count, we are a very powerful community, okay? If you look up and down, you scroll to the people in this room with you, this is an incredible community of people. And so I'd like to propose a call to action, okay? Because it's my time. <laughs> shout, we need to do one shout. And now I have no agency over your social media, so you can text a friend, you can text a loved one, you can tweet, Insta, whatever you want. But everybody, just for a moment, let's treat ourselves the way we want to be treated. Let's all put down a pound G4C 2020 and then say whatever you want to say. You can celebrate a game. You can celebrate Keisha. You can celebrate your own initiatives, right? Your own nonprofits. But let's all take this moment together, like all 640 of us, and say something forward. Let's be that change together. Like right, not tomorrow, not an hour, like on your cell phones, right now. So that's me. I'm so excited. Wait, sorry, let me show this. What? Oh, real talk. Okay, I'll make it about me for one more second. This is really nice. And I'm very, very thankful to be included in the, the pantheon of academic leaders and change leaders and all that this represents. Like I, ah, yeah, okay, this is awesome. Um, but enough about me, y'all are awesome. And so what we need to do is we're gonna, I'm gonna do it too, just to be super clear. 
I'm going to do it too. And we're wrapping up. We're going to get back to the awards. In fact, ah, if you see an award you like later, you could do that. G4C 2020 and just some award you like or a nominee. There's no wrong answers except to not treat ourselves the way that we want to be treated, to not continue to do the work to be the change that all of you are in making time for this awards and for this three days of learning celebration. So now I'm done. Thank you again. Um, thank you, Gates for Change. Thank you, Alan. Um, thank you, everybody involved. And now I'm going to go right back to Keisha, who is amazing and outstanding. Also, at Sugar Gamer on Twitter. You should follow her and support Sugar Gamer, right? And I'm done. Thank you so much. And hopefully see you, oh, hopefully see you all together next year, that you're all healthy and safe. Super important. Safety, health, all of you, I hope, please. Okay, now I'm done. I don't know how I was supposed to do my job after that amazing speech that Gordon just gave. That hit me right in the heart, <laughs> my whole heart. So uh, nobody, I, I can't, very deserving individual, Gordon. And now I got to recalibrate so I can do an award show. Hmm. <laughs> but I love you, Gordon, and I'm so happy about this. So, all right. Our next award is the G4C People's Choice Award presented by Facebook Gaming. And unlike the other awards presented this evening, the winner of the People's Choice was selected by thousands of people who voted for their favorite game on the Facebook Gaming website. So please join me in welcoming the community manager at Facebook Gaming, Leo Olebe. Hello everyone, I'm Leo Olebe, Global Director of Games Partnerships for Facebook. Facebook Gaming is proud to continue supporting Games for Change as a festival sponsor, as we believe now, more than ever, games can be a real force for social good in the world. As part of our support, we once again hosted the annual Games for Change People's Choice Award. This year, we're pleased to tell you that over 14,000 votes were cast as people voted on 14 different amazing and incredible games. Please join us in celebrating the winner of the Games for Change People's Choice Award. Jeez, 14,000 votes? <laughs> wow. So, the winner of the 2020 G4C People's Choice Award is Sky Children of the Light, developed by That Game Company. everyone. Hey, Games for Change. My name is Jenny Kong. And on behalf of everyone at that game company studio, we want to say a big thank you to the fans for voting Sky, Children of the Light, as your People's Choice Award this year. The festival and all the work that Games for Change does means a lot to us. And so this is a big one for us. Um, Sky is actually celebrating its one year anniversary this week. And there's been a lot of evolution and change in the world. We want to say thank you so much to the fans who have, through the game, shown us and encouraged us uh, to see that love in video games is possible, compassion in video games is possible, and also hope in video games is possible. Thanks again, guys, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in person soon. Stay safe. What an awesome game. Genova Chen, the co-founder and creative director of that game company, spoke earlier today. And we'll be showing an encore of her fireside chat with Tracy Fullerton on Thursday, July 16th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So please be sure to tune in. So for our next award, it's the Game for Change Giving Award. And to present that award, our festival producer, Raul Carvajal, will be talking about this. So. Thanks, Keisha. You're a rock star. I'm so excited for this award. Uh, this year, Games for Change is presenting its inaugural G4C Giving Award, which recognizes organizations 
in the game sector that meaningfully support their communities with direct donations of time, money, and other resources. For 10 years, Humble Bundle has supported various nonprofit organizations and charities through their innovative Pay What You Like fundraiser bundles of games, software, and ebooks. Having raised over $182 million for thousands of charities around the world, they have redefined how the global gaming community can support the work of nonprofits, publishers, and indie developers through charitable giving. Recently, their Fight for Racial Justice charity bundle raised over $4 million for organizations working towards racial equality, including the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, Race Forward, and the Bail Project. We are inspired by the work that Humble Bundle has done in the game sector to give back and would like to celebrate the last 10 years of their meaningful support to the community. Please join us in honoring Humble Bundle. What amazing work, so well deserved. Uh, please join us in welcoming Alan Patmore, EVP and General Manager of Humble Bundle. Thank you to Games for Change and their incredible work to drive social impact through games. We're very humbled to accept the Giving Award this year. Since Humble's very first bundle, Giving to Charity is core to our effort to be a force for good in the gaming industry. We especially want to thank the incredible Humble community. Time and again, our customers have shown amazing generosity in times of need. Since March alone, they have donated over $10 million to help with the response to COVID-19 and to fight for racial justice in the U.S. And since Humble was launched a decade ago, the community has raised over $180 million for charities around the world. We believe that gaming can empower and unite communities, and we're committed to using our platform and resources to accomplish this. For those of you interested in joining the Humble community to be part of our mission, you can learn more at humblebundle.com forward slash charities. From all of us at Humble, we say thanks and hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Hello guys, and we will now be giving the G4C Industry Leadership Award, which recognizes companies who embody the spirit of the Games for Change mission. So please join me in welcoming the president of the Entertainment Software Association, Stan Pierre-Louis. Games for Change recognizes Microsoft for its work in education, accessibility, mental health, and its support of independent developers. Microsoft Education continues to be a backbone for schools, especially during these times of remote learning. In addition, its partnership with UNICEF offers an expansion of the global learning platform, Passport Learning, to help children affected by COVID-19 continue their education at home. Also, 
Over the past decade, Minecraft Education Edition has opened a pathway for the use of games in the classroom. And HoloLens is redefining immersive education. Microsoft has also paved the way to a more inclusive world with its Xbox Adaptive Controller and its continued work with accessibility for all. And Microsoft is an inspiration to the video game community for its support of independent developers through ID at Xbox and its work supporting mental health through Ninja Theory's Hellblade and Project Insight. Please join us in honoring Microsoft. Thank you to Games for Change on behalf of Microsoft. It's great to see Games for Change advocating for gaming and immersive media as an art form that can have a positive social impact. Microsoft's mission is to empower every person and organization on the planet to achieve more. That means everything from criminal justice reform, empowering frontline industries, global skills initiatives, work like the Microsoft education team supporting educators by scaling hybrid learning models so kids can continue to learn through a pandemic and beyond. And work like Passport Learning, a partnership between Microsoft Education and UNICEF, working to bridge the digital learning gap for millions of students. Gaming has the power to bring people together across gender, sexual orientation, race, ethnicity, ability, education, socioeconomic background, and more. These connections build empathy at scale and can tra translate into real world change. During a time when so many people cannot physically be together, gaming has played a critical role in connecting all of us. I'm really proud of the team's work to unlock the potential of gaming for every player on the planet. There are over 250 million players with disabilities around the globe who couldn't enjoy gaming with their community. It's great to see the work like the Xbox Adaptive Controller bringing gaming to more people. It's also really inspiring to see the work that other companies are doing to support the Xbox Adaptive Controller, like the recent announcement by Apple to support Xbox Adaptive Controller on Apple TV and the work that Logitech has done to bring more accessories to Xbox Adaptive Controller, enabling more players. It's also really been inspiring to see the work that the Minecraft education team has done, giving educators new tools to reach kids through play. Minecraft Education Edition is a proven learning tool used by teachers in 115 countries around the world to engage students in STEM, history, coding, and more. The work of Ninja Theory 
Hellblade is a great game that raised awareness for those suffering from mental health difficulties. And the Insight Project is a combination of technology, game design, and clinical neuroscience to generate strategies to alleviate mental distress. It's great to see Games for Change and in the industry expanding the role of gaming to have a real positive impact for all of us. So congrats to all the other nominees, to all the other winners, and thank you for the award. I mean, Microsoft really outdid themselves when it came to the adaptive controller. They leaned into the community, they, they listened, and you can, you can tell it just paid off. So, I mean, we're at that point in the award show where it's the last award. And that is the Game of the Year Award, which is our top honor. Out of all of our finalists, the Game of the Year Award is given to the game that truly exemplifies all of the qualities of a great game for change. Um, but again, all of our finalists are incredible and deserve huge congratulations. So the 2020 Game of the Year is, you guys wanna know? I wanna hear the drum roll, the digital drum roll. And the game of the the game of the year award is Dreams, created by Media Molecule. Hey everybody, John here from Media Molecule. We're so happy to find out we've just won the Games for Change Game of the Year award. We couldn't be happier to receive such a wonderful honour. I know that everybody back in the studio are going to be so happy when they find out the news. Of course, Dreams wouldn't be the wonderful place it is now if it wasn't for our incredible community of creators, innovators and educators. It's really them who make Dreams such a vibrant and wonderful place to be a part of. Thank you once again, not only from myself, but from everybody at Media Molecule. Wow, I mean, I had been looking forward to this event all month, and this has been an absolutely amazing night. Uh, big congratulations to all the winners and all of the finalists. And again, for more information on the games, you can find them at the Games for Change website, as well as the booths in the expo. So we'd like to thank our sponsors who made the Games for Change virtual festival possible this year. Thank you for supporting Games for Change and its mission to celebrate games as a force for good. So again, this has been an amazing opportunity for me. I am so happy that I could be your host tonight. I am so happy that all of us could come together for this moment. And I'm so looking forward to Games for Change, the games industry in general, really making an amazing impact in our society and in our future moving forward. Thank you and have a great night. Okay. I couldn't let the night go by without me coming at the end of this award ceremony and saying a big, huge, grateful thank you to Keisha Howard. Keisha, I don't know if you can see me. At some point, I hope you can see this. Someone will tell you to go look at YouTube. But I want to tell you, you just made this night a huge success. We had our challenges. We've had our challenges all day with technology. But man, did you pull it together. You handled everything with grace, with humor, and true professionalism. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know everybody who watched today was rooting for you as you got us through an amazing ceremony. And we were able to acknowledge the incredible games that were made this year. So congratulations to all of our nominees, all of the winners, to our Industry Leadership Award at Microsoft, to our ga annual Games for Giving Award, Humble Bundle, and our Vanguard Award, Gordon Bellamy. Thank you, congratulations to everyone, and I hope you have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>